All right, so I'm posting this video in mid-November because winter's coming and there's gonna be a lot of end of the year type projects to be put together. So in this video, we're gonna talk about three different winter, holiday, Christmas motion graphics that you can put together for your videos. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel if you're new here. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hope everyone is doing great today. So we're gonna talk about three techniques like creating snow, how to bring in you know holiday Christmas graphics, and how to put all these elements together to create some awesome graphics for whatever project you're working on. So there's a lot of use for this video, but without wasting more time, let's jump into our tutorial and we're gonna get started. And as always, you can download our project files for free if you wanna follow along. And in our first technique, we're gonna go ahead and create these snow particles. So what we're gonna do is we need an image of a snowflake, which I have here. Uh, you can download our project files if you want this one, or you can just search up a snowflake PNG. So what we're gonna do is take that snowflake image and go to layer, pre-compose, and move all attributes to new composition, click OK. So what we'll do is go into that composition and we'll click on our snowflake layer, go to effect, generate, fill, and set it to white. Click OK. Go back into our main composition and we'll turn it off. Then we'll go to layer new solid and we'll call it particles. All right, and then let's go to effect simulation and we're gonna grab CC particle world. And what we're gonna do is move this layer forward in time and then we can just drag out the out point. And this will allow us to have our particles already up here. What we're gonna do is come here to particle and change from line to a textured square. And what we'll do here is open up the texture tab, go to texture layer, and set that to the snowflake layer. All right, then we need to change our birth and death color to white or whatever color that you wanna use, um, but make sure you change that fill effect to the color you really want. So there it is. Then what we'll do is come here to max opacity, set that up to 100%, and then we can come here to birth and death size if we wanna increase the size to like 0.5 for birth and 0.5 for death. And I'll make it a little bit bigger if you want it to do that. So now we'll come here to our birth rate and set this to 0.5. All right, and then we'll open up the producer tab and we'll come here to position Y and we will move up our producer to be above the comp. You'll see the producers right there with the circle selected. And you see it's gonna fall down there. And we'll come here to radius X and we can expand this to go across our composition. And now we'll have these particles in here. We need this to last a little bit longer. So we'll go ahead and increase the longevity up to be a little bit longer. Awesome. Then we come here to say the physics, change the animation type to twirly, and we'll come here to say to the resistance and set this to two. And we'll come here to the gravity and let's set this to 0.1. And if you want to bring down the birth rate, you can go ahead and do that if you want to have uh, less particles. So now we have snow that will fall down on our scene forever. So that is really awesome. And before we move further into this tutorial, I want to give a huge shout out to our 500 Motion Graphics Starter Pack extension right here inside of After Effects. So this is our Motion Graphics Starter Pack extension, which has over 500 templates in it from motion graphics to 200 titles, social media animations, and more. For example, we can come here to our titles template and preview every single template before we apply it. And when we find a title template that we want, we can click on apply. And it automatically applies a full title animation to our current composition, which we can go into that comp and we can change out our titles and we can easily change colors with a click of a button and we can update any other parameters as we see fit. And then we go back into our main composition and now we have our full title completely updated in our main composition. And we can take this even further by adding some motion graphics like cluster, accent graphics in here. So we can apply some quick graphics in here and within a few clicks of a button, we're able to take our composition to the next level with some really cool accent motion graphics. So if you're looking to save time while producing awesome work, you can take a look at our motion graphics starter pack along with our other packs off our website. I will link them below if you do pick up anything you will be supporting our channel so thank you very much all right so for our second technique we're going to talk about how to add vector graphics to your scene like say this land with the trees or these extra graphics here at the top so you can just bring more detail to your comp which i think is very important for pulling off these type of winter graphics so you can get elements like this for absolutely free from one of my favorite sites called freepix.com and you can come here, search for what you're looking for and download free vectors. And if you're consistently working on client projects, I would highly suggest picking up a subscription from Movado Elements, which has easily over a million elements from vector objects to free music, After Effects templates, and so much more. Uh, if you do sign up through my link below, you'll get the first month 70% off. And when you do download something, this is a file I downloaded for free from Free Picks. Uh, you can open up an Adobe Illustrator. I know this might look intimidating if you've never touched this before, but don't worry about it. It's super easy. Just do what I'm gonna, about to do. So I only want the land down here. So, and what I can do is hold down control my keyboard and click what I want, and then hold down control and shift, say select another layer. So I have both those selected, and then I'm just gonna copy them on my keyboard, control C. And then I'll come here to file new, and I'll ask to create a new document. I'm gonna create a 1920 by 1080 document in pixels. 
click create. And simply what we're gonna do here is just paste what we copied, control V, right? And then we can hold down alt and shift on our keyboard to drive us across and we can just realign how we see fit here. And when you're happy with the alignment of your graphics, just go to file, save as, and save your file as an illustrator file, .ai, and click on save. And then take that illustrator file you just saved, import it into After Effects, and import kind as footage, click OK. Bring this into our timeline right here, and there it is. And then we'll go to Effect, Generate, Fill if you wanna change the color back to white. There you have it, pretty simple. And, and if you want, you can have PR keyboard for position and add a keyframe for that, move it forward in time. And we can like bring this below our composition. So we have some opening animation like that. Make the last keyframe easy ease by hitting F9 on your keyboard. And if you want, you can do this with other graphics as well. And it's a pretty cool technique just to add more detail to your scene. And if you wanted, you can do custom animation on your vector objects, like animating these trees. I will link a tutorial on that type of animation that we've done in the past. I will link it below if you want to watch on how to do further vector animation. So for our last technique is being able to do this nice, you know, fade in on our title, which just fits so perfectly with the theme. So perhaps you're doing like a sales piece for, you know, the upcoming month, you know, you need some titles. So what we're gonna do is actually use a preset. So you come here to your effects and presets window and go to animation presets, click on the text one, go to blurs, and this is my favorite preset. It's called Evaporate. So grab that and bring it onto your title layer. And then just hit U on your keyboard to bring up those keyframes. You can rearrange the positioning of it. And one thing you want to do is select both those keyframes, right click them, go to keyframe assistance, and click on time reverse keyframes. So now we're going to have this very nice animation of our title in here. And that is awesome. And what we can do is open up our title layer, copy our Evaporate animator. And we can apply this to say another title and what we'll do is open our title again go to the text layer go to the app evaporate animator we come here to the range selector of one go to the advanced tab and so a lot of tabs are open up what we could do is change this from the based on from characters to words and you'll get a different look of that animation and then once again you can always just copy your animation and paste it to another title layer and that'll be a very quick way and i just think a beautiful way to animate in your titles uh, just by using an animation preset which will save you a tremendous amount of time and this could be a good opportunity to add some accent graphics from our motion graphics starter pack to just help enhance the title animation so that's our tutorial on our winter motion graphics this tutorial will always be here so if you want to come back to it next year this tutorial will be here for you so if you did enjoy this video be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel you can also hit me up on my social media networks those links are below and always be creating.